What's up, YouTube? Don't forget to save, aka Sam, coming back at you guys with another hump day video. And today we are continuing on with our Friday the 13th as uh, reviews, as you can see. And so I'm just going to jump right into it. But before I do, don't forget to like my videos. If you like my content, comment. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys get stuff like this when it, when it happens, when it drops. So, Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives. So we went from the final chapter to a new beginning to now we're back with Jason Lives. So, the release date was August the 1st. 1986 and it was directed by tom mclaughlin fun fact about tom mclaughlin uh for, well two facts one he meant for elias for he's jason's father to be at the end of this movie and it never made it to screen also uh he actually had a i heard he had a, a script for a friday the 13th movie during the lawsuit i don't know what where that's at or what's going on but uh i think he did a bang up job part six is a fan favorite and I can see why. Uh, it's a fun movie to watch, guys. It's got the dark humor and, and all that kind of stuff in it. But before I get too, uh, too off topic here, uh, this continues the Tommy Jarvis story. Uh, Tom Matthews plays Tommy Jarvis in this one. Uh, Jennifer Cook plays uh, Megan Garris. Uh, that's the sheriff's daughter and uh, the love interest of Tommy Jarvis. Um, we also get C.J. Graham as Jason in this one. And, uh, you know... Uh, C.J. Graham, actually, uh, I liked uh, his Jason character the best, I think. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I, I do like uh, C.J. Graham's Jason. Uh, former Marine, by the way, shout out to Jay Thompson, so he, he ought to like C.J. Graham. Uh, and uh, in the paintball scene, uh, Dan Bradley was actually Jason for that. And uh, the, uh, the paintball scene has one of my favorite kills. It's the triple decapitation kill. Uh, uh, of course, they made him cut that uh, most of the best part of that out, but it's still a fun kill. And uh, also, I put uh, Tom Fridley down here as Court, and on the reason I found him to be notable is, well, he's been in several other movies as well, but he's also related to John Travolta. He's his nephew, I do believe. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong about that, but yeah, uh, Tom Fridley's uh, uncle is John Travolta, so that's a fun fact for you right there. So basically the plot of Friday the 13th Part 6 is Tommy Jarvis gets out of the mental ward and he's going. he wants to get some closure, so he go, decides to go dig up the body of Jason Voorhees to make sure he's actually dead. Like I said, he went kind of crazy after, you know, Part 5 and everything, so... Uh, he goes there, he takes this metal pole, he starts stabbing Jason once he gets him dug, dug up, and it's during a thunderstorm, so lightning hits the rod while it's in him, and we have a Frankenstein revival of, of Jason Voorhees. Um, now, what's interesting about this this uh, plot element is, uh, one, in the, in the setting it happens on Friday the 13th in the movie, and also, it's the first time Jason Voorhees is actually a supernatural killer. Because if you remember back in, in Part 4, he could still be hurt. He could still be stopped. And, you know, well, in Part 6, he's completely supernatural. He's totally more powerful. He, he's damn near unkillable. Uh, so, you know, that's the difference. This is the first one that, that was like that. Um, so... I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there, but uh, definitely check out if you guys haven't, or rewatch it. Like I said, if you guys have already seen these, rewatch them. They're definitely worth a rewatch, especially Part 6. I believe they're all worth a rewatch, but I've had fun with this, guys. So, with all that said, uh, yeah, definitely give Friday the 13th Part 6 a watch. Tomorrow, we talk about Part 7, yes, and we finally get to talk about Kane Hodder. I've been doing these reviews for two weeks now, and I just now got to part seven in Kane Hodder. Like, he thinks he was the only Jason there was. Well, guess what? There was a whole bunch of other Jasons before him. So anyway, with all that said, guys, if you like the video, drop a like. Hit me with a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Subscribe if you haven't. Until tomorrow, love your love your hobby. Well, actually, no, I don't. Uh, tomorrow is uh, the live stream. Friday, we'll have to do the, uh, I'm sorry, Friday, we'll have to do the movie review. Tomorrow we'll be doing the live stream at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, uh, going through some vintage comics and uh, and talking some horror. So anyway, till tomorrow, guys. Peace.